Hello everyone, welcome to today's video, where I'll guide you through the process of creating an AI-powered podcast just like this. Using AI as a source of inspiration and to open up new possibilities. Exactly. And this idea of collaboration, it goes way beyond the arts. Yeah. Think about scientific research, for example. One of our sources talks about a scientist using AI to analyze massive data sets. Yeah. And they were able to uncover these groundbreaking insights mm. that would have taken years or even decades to discover using traditional methods. Well, it is time for a short... You can watch the complete video by clicking on the card up here, or you can click the link in the description. This is a step-by-step -step breakdown of how I successfully created my podcast on a thought-provoking topic. Will AI replace humans? If you've ever dreamed of starting your own podcast but felt like the technical side was too challenging, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped to create your very own AI podcast, no matter your experience level. Let's get started with the first step. Step one, have a topic to write on. Every great podcast starts with a solid topic. For me, I wanted something engaging and relevant, so I decided on will AI replace humans? Once you've settled on your topic, the next step is to create a script. This might sound daunting, but here's the good news. You can use AI to generate a compelling script for you. I turned to ChatGPT, which made this process seamless. All I had to do was open ChatGPT and type in a specific prompt. Here's exactly what I wrote. Has AI come to replace human beings? I need you to write a 2000 word script with chapters and a conclusion. After hitting enter, I let ChatGPT do its magic. Within moments, it generated a complete, well-structured script that included chapters, a conclusion, and everything I needed to make my podcast captivating. With this ready-made script, I was set to move on to the next step. Step 2. Converting the script into a podcast. Now that I had my script, the next task was to convert it into a podcast. This meant transforming the written words into a voiceover. To do this, I used a website called Notebook LM. Let me guide you through the process step by step. First, open your browser and type Notebook LM. Once you find the official website, click on the first link you see on Google. When the website finally opens, you'll see a button that says, Try Notebook LM. Click it to start. When you arrive at the platform, you'll need to sign in with your credentials, I mean your email. After signing in, you'll be welcomed to the interface. From there, you'll see a button labeled Create. Click on that button to start your project. You'll now have the option to either upload a document from Google Drive or paste text directly into the interface. I chose to paste my script. I went back to my ChatGPT generated script, copied the entire text, including the conclusion, and pasted it into Notebook LM. After pasting the script, I clicked the insert button to load it into the system. Notebook LM then generated a summary and additional details about the script. The next step was to click on the generate voiceover button. Notebook LM worked its AI magic to create a natural sounding voiceover from the script. This process took a little time, but the result was absolutely worth it. When the voiceover was ready, I played it back to ensure it matched the tone and emotion I wanted for my podcast. You know, you sent us this really, it seems like AI is just everywhere these days. Yeah, it really does. And it feels like everyone's talking about it too. Like it's not just small talk anymore, you know. It's just like this huge thing that's changing the world. Satisfied with the result, I downloaded the file and was ready for the next stage. Step three, editing the voiceover. The voiceover was complete, but I wanted to give it a polished professional touch. This is where I used CapCut for editing. You can use any editing software of your choice, but I'll explain how I did it with CapCut. The first thing I did was separate the male and female voices in the voiceover. To do this, I loaded the audio into CapCut and used the split tool, or the shortcut Control plus B, to cut sections of the voiceover. I left the female voice in its original position and moved the male voice to a new track below it. This process required a bit of patience, but it allowed me to balance the voices and ensure clarity. Once I was happy with the arrangement, I highlighted the female voice clips, right-clicked, and selected Create Compound Clip. I repeated the same process for the male voice clips. With the compound clips created, 
I muted the video track and exported the audio in MP3 format. So I will be exporting the audio for the male and female respectively. To do this, click V to mute the audio at the bottom. Click export and do not forget to name the file to make it easy to identify which is female or male. Also uncheck the video and click the audio to be able to download the audio. Repeat the same process for the male. Great, let's move to the next step. Now, I had a high quality voiceover, perfectly edited and ready for the next step. Step four, generating faces for the podcast. With the audio completed, I wanted to add visuals to the podcast by generating faces for the male and female voices. This added a personal touch and made the podcast more engaging for viewers. To do this, I used AI tools designed for creating realistic digital avatars. I tried some AI image generator, but didn't get exactly what I needed, and then I tried Flux Glyph. So these images were generated using Glyph, the link is in the description. I have a video on how to generate AI avatar, feel free to click the link in the description to watch it. These AI generated faces became the visual anchors for the podcast, creating a connection between the audience and the content. So here was how I created my avatars. To make the avatars talk and express emotions, I explored two major AI tools, Hedra AI and DupDub AI. Both are excellent, but for this project, I decided to go with DupDub AI because I already had credits on my account. Here's how I used DupDub AI. I went to the AI avatar section of the platform. I uploaded the avatars I had created on Flux Glyph. On the top right corner, I uploaded the corresponding voiceovers I had generated earlier. DupDub AI then worked its magic synchronizing the voices with the avatars and adding realistic expressions to their faces. It's important to note that this process consumes credits, so keep that in mind, as it's not free. Once the videos were generated, I downloaded them and prepared for the next step. Now, it was time to merge the male and female avatars into a seamless video. For this, I turned to Canva, an incredibly versatile tool for content creators. Here's how I did it. I opened Canva and selected the YouTube video template, I searched for a video layout that allowed me to add multiple video elements. Canva has plenty of customizable templates to choose from. After selecting the template, I uploaded my avatar videos to Canva and dragged them into the placeholders on the template. Once both avatars were in place, I made final adjustments to ensure the video looked polished. When everything was set, I downloaded the combined video in high quality, upscaling the video. To enhance the final video quality, I used an upscaling tool. There are several tools you can use for this, like media.io which offers free credits before requiring a paid subscription. For this project I decided to stick to CapCut build in Video Upscaler. Here's how it works. I typed Canva Video Upscale into my browser and clicked the first link. I uploaded my video to the platform and selected the 2x upscale option. Canva quickly upscaled the video, improving its resolution and making it look even more professional. I repeated the process for both sections of the video and downloaded the final versions. I highly recommend you upscale your avatar video before uploading to Canva and after that you can upload to CapCut for final editing. And there you have it, the complete process of creating an AI-powered podcast. From generating realistic avatars to bringing them to life and producing a professional quality video, the tools I used made everything surprisingly simple and accessible. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned content creator, you can follow these steps to make your own podcast and wow your audience. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and share this with someone who might be interested in starting their own podcast. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.